I recently came across a race team that developed their own light for endurance racing, and when I saw it in action, I thought everyone needs to check this thing out. And this is why. This is the light. It's developed by Technic Competition, and it's your standard off-road style pod light. But seeing it in action, I was really excited by the way that it was so much different from other lights that were out there. And in just a minute, I'm gonna go over all the details. I'll weigh it, go over the stuff that comes in the package. I'll also talk a bit about Technic Competition themselves and how their company and how they operate is as unique as this light itself. So we have Peter here from Technic. He's gonna come and tell us about how this light came to be and what makes it so great and stand out among the rest. So Peter, you want to uh, come take it away? Yeah, okay, I guess I'm not very, <laughs> we're not very good at these things. So we developed this light because we raced the 25 hours of Thunder Hill and we've been doing about 10 or 15 years. Evolution of light was creating this problem where we would squeeze the balloon and no matter what happened, we would always have this problem. It was either too high of a draw or if a light bar got knocked out, we had no lights whatsoever. Wow. Um, a lot of tail chasing. There's a lot of blind spots and dark spaces and stuff like that. And you know, you're going 140 miles an hour into a turn over a crest. You kind of want to know what's out there. You want to be able to see what's coming. And yeah. we were we were having trouble with that. So when we sat down with our team, all the mentees and mentors and everybody, we said, what are we trying to do? Let's try to find someone that had a light that kind of inspired us to go that route. And a guy, one of the kids that is on our team, he's, uh, his dad's a motorcycle driver, like a touring type oh, okay. guy, right? And he had a light that was much like a factory OEM light yeah. that was a gigantic bulb. Okay. And so what we did was we oh, took that Like a that similar light. size to that? It, no, it was exactly this. It just oh, had okay. a bulb on it, like a big sphere. Yeah. And it created kind of this blurry spot out there. And what we kind of came up with through some guys that were engineering was if we ovaled the projector on it, we could get a concentration of light yeah. out there, but it was horizontal. And so with that, now we have like a direct horizon on your light. And the next time you guys are out there and you're looking at your headlight, look, there is a horizon on it directly. Mm -hmm. And it allowed us to say, okay, great. This is this awesome strand of light. How many lights do we need yeah. to go and stack on top of each one of those things? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, because it was wider and it had a line on the top, we could just go boop, boop, boop. And the next thing you know, we had no more blind spots and wow. we could adjust each light to cover the spaces that the drivers are looking. And that's why we developed the light and it seems to be pretty successful. And um, we liked it. So awesome. We're glad you liked it. Yeah, no, that's that's very cool. I mean, it's worth talking about. Yeah. And um, I've never seen anything with a light pattern quite like that. I mean, it's all, it's an oval here, but it's almost like a rectangle when it hits the hits the road or hits the surface in front of you, which which lets you stack them as you were talking about. Yeah, and that's, it, and that's it, the You know, a, a sphere, you can, you know, no matter how close you get two circles next to each other, there's always a dead spot there's in between them. There's always a dead spot. But it's, it almost like, you know, rec rectangularizes, if that's a word, it, the, the beam. It's not a word, but <laughs> but it's, I think everybody gets what you mean. Uh -huh. um, the thing that also, uh, we got feedback from our drivers, uh, these lights probably have I don't know, two, 300 hours of just racing time on them mm -hmm. is the drivers don't feel as tired after three hours. In the That's car. really interesting. They it, it, typically you would shorten your driver stents at night and they're much, much harder on the drivers because it's their constant, their eye is constantly working it. Like dilating and gap. Yep. Going closing. through the gaps, dilating and all that stuff like that. So we, um, we really liked that feedback. The other thing too, that I forgot to mention altogether, cause again, I'm not good at this was we put a yellow diode in here so you can, oh, on the okay. plug, yeah. you can actually have yellow and white and you don't have to change this lens. You can just wire a toggle switch to go up, neutral is off, and then down is yellow. So you could, in the middle of a race, if you're, change colors. Yeah, if you're on a desert or something like that, you can change to yellow. So what, what kind of benefit would the, would the yellow color bring? So when you're, there are certain environments where you're in fog or dust or something like that, where the light will reflect back off of whatever okay. it's hitting. And then, yeah. you, then you're like, your eyes get it's really- It's like a mirror. Yeah, it gets mm -hmm. really tiring. And the yellow is much smoother than that. And then with, with double sets, you can even have both colors. You could yeah, have like yellow on the bottom. I mean, yeah, or, I mean, yeah whatever, whatever thing, you might but, Yeah, do. I don't, if, I don't know what, I don't know, but sure you could, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whether again, there's a benefit again, to it or made, not. This yeah. will solve our problem and it turns out everyone seems to like it. So we're just sort of, um, just excited that people like the light. Let's go over some details. So this is a 60 watt light package. 
the lights themselves are about three inches cubed, so a little bit smaller than the size of your palm or size of my brain. They have an internal thread, so when you go to tighten it down to the bracket, you don't have to worry about trying to fiddle with putting a nut on the back side of it. You can just clamp it on down. Now the bracket itself, it's also pretty impressive. It's not that thin stamp steel stuff you get with some of the other things that you buy. It's a nice eighth inch steel, 90 degree angle bracket. It's black powder coated. There's even a feature in the middle. So when you go to put a bolt through it, you should be able to tighten a nut on the back side without having to put a wrench on the top. Comes with one pigtail per light, with a little vinyl sleeve to keep things sanitary. The connector is a Deutsch style waterproof connector and the light itself is also waterproof. As far as how waterproof is it? Well, it's probably more waterproof than your truck. So if you have to pull your truck out of a lake, this might be the only thing that still works. So if you want a set of these for yourself, go ahead and find that link down in the video's description. Click that, buy them, get them shipped to your door. And I wanted to touch on something that I said earlier. So what makes Technic so unique is the fact that it's a 501c3 charity. They use motorsports as a platform to teach people new skills, give them job opportunities, help them start businesses. And 100% of the proceeds from these lights and any other product that Technic produces goes back into the motorsports community. So by buying these lights, you're actually investing in the community itself. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, help us support this cause, and give back to the community we all love so much.